So here you go. There's an innate affinity that comes with that which is homegrown. Um, foreign gods, religion, and tradition, and, and a time for reflection. I, and, and let me start this with a caveat. I know that I'm going to say things that revolve around going back to our roots, and I'm wearing it, a shirt and tie. So, but forgive me. Uh, uh, some will call it wardrobe malfunction happened. But anyhow, as the world fights a deadly coronavirus, we have been witnesses to the equally worrying rhetoric of our religious leaders, some of our religious leaders, not all of them. Some of them are pushing every dangerous conspiracy theories that is out there about the pandemic being the result of some grand design by people like Bill Gates and 5G and his associates who take over the world and force humanity in some kind of uh, slavery. But I think it's time we really discuss how religion in Africa has become another hustle. No different from Yahoo Yahoo, 419 scams we hear of every day. So my advocacy this week pretty much centers on the need for a rediscovery of our, what I call our back to our African religion, which we appear to, at least on this continent, we've relied a lot over the last two, maybe 300 years on foreign gods, gods in Rome and Mecca, cathedrals in London, New York, Dubai, and Geneva. And by cathedrals, I mean shopping, our monies, our monies in Switzerland, and so on and so forth. For the past 200 years, we have taken every road to vilify our own culture and traditional religion, calling them demonic, satanic, barbaric. Yet we worship the gods of those who have enslaved us, colonized us, and made us feel far inferior. And I think this is really the, what I talked about, about how we cannot design our own systems that profit us because we always look for things that come from abroad. When I think of it, I can see why the average black man will find it difficult to develop and come out of this cycle of dependence and subservience. So for me, we need to take a step back, at least, and stop vilifying our traditional religions for once. Um, let me get in here early enough, because um, sorry to say, Emeka, <laughs> but I think, Emeka, you have a bee in your bonnet to do with religion. I think it, it colors your judgment at times, in the sense that, to me, maybe I, I, you could say the same about me, but let me give you an example in a sort of objective, yes. as, as objective as I can be. You mentioned at the start that you're wearing a shirt and tie. You reserve the right to pick and choose what aspects of life, whether you call it borrowed or foreign mm -hmm. or whatever, influence your life. That's your choice. That's how human beings Agreed, live. Agreed, yeah. yeah. So you don't need to vilify people who have opted to take believe in Jesus or believe in, you know, because you tend to focus on that. I'm coming, thing. let me land. You, you're supposed to be, no, no, but you are, I'm because saying. each time you no, advocate no, no, against no, that, no, no, let me finish, let me finish. No, 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 finish. no, 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 man. So allow people, live and let live. Okay, I get your point towards the end where you say, yes, maybe we took it a bit far. Some of these are movies. We, we tend to say throw stones at you, everything. Yes, you have a point. But it doesn't take away from the fact that if someone has believed on something, it's theirs. It's their own personal belief. And they're allowed to believe it, just like you are allowed to believe in Amadioha. Follow uh, uh, it through. Uh, can I, do you know where this problem started from? Okay. It's not actually a mecca trying to vilify. It is the religion, the foreign religion, trying to vilify no, somebody who I does agree. not believe. No, I agree that, that, but I'm religion. trying to say that. Yeah, that's why I said you shouldn't. No, no, no. I, I did agree. Uh, if you notice, I flipped it. So I said yes. I get it that it has started there. Just the same way his you have a right to be pushing. And just the same no, way foreign, pushing. foreign gods I'm are saying, the problem to everything. I'm saying. No. I'm not saying foreign true. gods are the problem. My point is this: that we've had over the past two, three hundred years, especially in the last 30, 40 years. With, 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 with this kind of Christianity that says that everything African, everything traditional is it's, evil. That's what I'm saying. That's that vilification. See, not exactly. that, not that. You it, won't it, find it, the local tradition of vilifying people who worship yeah, people I mean, who go to church. It's, no. like, it's like you coming to my house It's the other now. way around. Imagine, even among, I, I, uh, I, 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 even among Christianity, somebody comes to me and says, um, are you a Christian? I said, yes. He said, are you saved? Um, I said, um, no, it says, uh, what denomination do you attend? I say, Catholic. He said, are you born again? Mm -hmm. Are you, you know, that's, and here you're talking about choice. Mm -hmm. Not to talk of when I now say, I ah, know, I'm uh, an Ogun worshiper. I says, oh, no, blood of Jesus. You know, as if. Exactly. Be, that's my choice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so you're preaching choice. Just the you're same way I'm wearing choice. this. Yes. The same way I'm wearing this. Yes. And I'm saying, that's why I started with a caveat. Mm -hmm. It's my choice. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the fact, but the fact is that it's all the the, the 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 thing is the other way around. Where there's this thing that people who are um, African 
or, or people who worship the old African religion, they're somehow evil. That's the yeah, point. And that's why, you know, no, my I, advocacy that's the point also... That I'm making. Not without basis, though. No, no, no. It's also, it's also but similar to my advocacy speak. that Africans should not just copy and paste everything from the West. Sometimes, let's look inward. We can have solution to our problem internally. So this idea of, oh, yes, through our Lord Jesus Christ, through Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the moment I say um, uh, Ogu, no, you see now, you're going to where I challenged him. Or the Alika. fact that you choose to believe in Jesus doesn't mean it's not a truth for yes, you. Yes, it's, it it's a truth that for not, that person. It doesn't mean it's, 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 it's borrowed fact, and it's copy and paste. The fact it's, that it's I yours. now choose mm -hmm. to also look inward, mm. the fact that I choose to look inward mm. and say, you know what, away with all this foreign religion, mm -hmm. Let's look inward. Mm -hmm. Also, it's a choice. Oh, no, 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 they cut, they cut, they cut both ways. They try and one day they're trying. The next minute they're calling on the name. But that's you, I've heard you say, no. "Our Lord." But so you need even to make up the traditionalists. So, 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 no, so even the traditionalists believe okay, mm. that there is a can God. Can I come in? Mm. Yeah, can I say this? A God. Every, every, Are you ready? every religion in <laughs> yes. Can I come in? Yeah. 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 Please join in. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, the the white man came to vilify traditional religion. He came to destroy it and set about doing just that. He didn't give room for the traditional religion and his own. And what has happened is that we have taken on the battle of the white man, and that's why today we continue to vilify traditional religion, yeah. and they don't vilify the white man's religion. Yes. It's a one-way traffic thing. And you know, when you, when you find yourself doing something that, and you're not aware you're doing it, you need to be knocked on the head and then all of a sudden you, you, you realize that, yes, that's what you're doing. What it is is that, you see, Ekene, people like you, maybe not necessarily you in particular, but people like you vilify traditional religion and, and don't realize that that's almost like your sole aim in propagating your own side of yeah. things. Yeah. So, yeah. The, you know, so... What you can that's really back on what, that. That's, that's really what it is. I, let, let me come back okay. okay. Yeah. But not, I'm not saying you in particular. No, I said people fine. like I'm you. I'm happy with your trying to point the finger. Uche, go on. Yeah, well, you know what? I think most, well, depending on what religion you come from, yeah, you probably, most people end up vilifying the other religion. You know, yeah. I've seen Muslims vilify uh, um, Christianity. I've seen Christians vilify Muslims, mm -hmm. Hindu, whatever. I'm not really necessarily sure it's all down to, um, you know, people demonizing um, African traditional religion per se. Um, I, me personally, I'm kind of like free for all. If you find that your air, you know, the God you're looking for is in the African traditional uh, sphere, by all means, go there. But like I kind of said, I do find that a lot of people that say they are in, in into traditional religion aren't really into it. They're taking the bits that you know suits, suits them, them the bits that that fit you know the narrative they want to push. And they're not really are they doing the rituals? Are they cutting chicken heads? What are they so, doing? So I want to know. So this is thing. Let's, let's, end, end, let's, end, let's, let's, end, let's end it here. We'll but we'll but visit which we will visit this at another yeah, time. But yeah. let's let's be careful about using the word rituals in ascribing in ascribing methodology. Five that's years, also that's really fine because everything is about oh, mutual. Okay. We're ready for um, the next, um, the next So year. anyhow, <laughs> um, so let's move on. Yes, we um, move. Well, we can only call it as we say it. So here's the opportunity to do the same because we are listening. On COVID-19, resolutions on chaos, Kings Lingwigwe says the only way out from the present Nigeria predicament, looking critically in Nigeria and the unending avalanche of pro problems bedeviling the country, you will agree with me that all is not well, except if you are a hypocrite. Well, well, what then is the solution to this malady, he asks. On COVID-19 and remembering the poor, James Subadi says in loud exclamation, he who fails to plan and has already planned, has already planned to fail, he says. Over the years, Nigeria failed to plan. Now we have started to reap our abundant failures. On the complete edition, Osa's Ewera says, my favorite show, never miss it. Great job as always. God bless Nigeria. Indeed, Osas, glad you are engaged. God bless Nigeria indeed. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. 
to catch up with previous broadcasts, go to Plus TV Africa um, forward slash The Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. So after the break, Chuka joins us and has more than little to say on behalf of our neglected healthcare sector. He probably speaks for a lot of us, if not all of us.